I don't know why I haven't been videoing, but I just picked up the 390 for my 63 Galaxy. I think the pressure washer and pressure wash it off. So it turns a little bit. It's been sitting for years, but it turns a little bit. So when John Boy gets back, he's gonna to pull the plugs out and spray some penetrating oil in there. And we're definitely gonna tear it down though and put new gaskets in it and shit and check the bearings and check the rings, check the cylinders. But um, we'll probably do that tomorrow or later on today, but I'll video it for sure. I can't believe I missed all the videos getting the motor because I had to go dig it out of my dad's and move a bunch of shit and use the tractor and pick it up. I had to put a, I put like a little cherry picker onto my trailer just to get this, but I got it. And then you'll get to see, I'll, I'll rebuild it on camera. So it's going to be here shortly. It's a 390. Uh, this is out of a 67 uh, Mercury and it says Mercury on the valve covers, which I'll change them out. But says mercury this is only a temporary motor in that car because it's got the 352 in it which is the original vin matching i believe if it's not the vin matching then i'll just keep this one but if the one in the car is a vin match to the body then i'll rebuild it and put it back in i just want to put this one in there so i can drive it for a while and i want to stroke the other motor and stuff so i got a lot of work to do all right i just started pulling this 390 apart it's definitely a 392 because i got the tag off it which i was kind of worried about because you never know with these fv blocks but See right there in the beginning where it says 90, 390. This is definitely a 390. These are more rare ones. I don't know what the 380 stands for, or the, the 66 is the year, obviously. But um, I'm gonna look this tag up when I get home and see what that 380 stands for. But I just started, the motor's very dirty inside. I mean, this this car only had like, my dad said it had like 60,000 miles, which is a lot. I mean, you know, you can't, you're gonna put three, 400,000 on cars back then like you can now, but. It is just filthy, but I'm rebuilding it anyway, so it don't really matter, but I'll bring you back when I get a little further. All right, I got the hedge tore off it and whatnot, and I'll flip it, drain the oil out and flip it upside down and pull the bottom of the motor apart tomorrow. I definitely have to have it bored because this cylinder right here looking pretty rough. So I'm gonna pull everything off and take the block down to uh, Josh Hudson right down the road. He's on the same street as me, which is sweet. Plus I'm gonna go online tonight and order a set of fucking forged pistons for it and a crank and uh, bearings and I already got the gasket kit so I'll get everything for it and then I'll I'll, I'll try to video putting the motor back together because it's hard to do anything holding my cell phone but I'll try to uh, use my GoPro and I just got to figure out how to do these videos better once I do it'll be no problem but here's the head it's got open chamber heads too which I definitely want closed chamber heads see how the see how this right here is all real open in here if you get a closed chamber this will be like kind of like really small, you know, there'll be a lot less CCs in there. So it makes a lot more compression. So I'm going to see if I can, I got another 390 in the car. Or I don't know. It's the same exact motor, but it could be, it could be one of four or five motors because the only way to tell is by a tag and none of them have a damn tag on them. This one did. This one is for sure a 390, but I'll be back tomorrow. I forgot to do some video and last night I forgot, but I got, I'm back to the motor pulling it apart i just wanted to i'm gonna pull it all the way down take it to the machine shop and have it board out 30 over and just order the stoker kit for it tonight uh maybe i'll order it monday but either way i'm gonna get the stoker kit for it i just wanted to you know check this out see how i'm doing i noticed these had 9 16 bolts in them the bottom two holes have 19 16 bolts in them these are all half inch under here and all half inch around the top i thought they would have been all half inch but yeah then I'm going to pull the heads off the other motor to see if they're closed chamber heads because I really like a closed chamber head. This is like an open chamber head here. I mean, it's a little bit closed because it has this here, so I'm this is open too. But when I find the closed chamber heads, I'll show you the difference of what I'm talking about. But he's going to do the heads for me, all, do all new valves and uh, regrind the valves and new springs and, and surface the, you know, surface the head. And then he's also going to surface the block too. But yeah, I'll come back when I, when I, get back to building it. I'll make sure I video the whole thing. 